Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you guys how I store some of my filaments to keep it away from moisture. Filaments like nylon, TPU and PVA like to absorb moisture in the air and absorb it at a fast rate so I think I don't need to remind you that you have to store them properly. Now when it comes to PLA, which is the most used type of filament in the hobby, there isn't really a general consensus, which I can understand since I've had PLA filaments that don't get wet easily and I've had filaments that get so brittle after just a few days laying around outside of its box. So one way of storing filaments is to store them in airtight containers like these cereal boxes. There is a lot of space in the box so you can print a desiccant container and you can even throw in a hygrometer. The problem is, these boxes take up a considerable amount of space and if you have a lot of filaments, you're gonna run out of space pretty easily. I have a very small studio, so my only option is to vacuum seal them. I kinda chipped out and used this resealable ziplock plastic bag to store my filaments. I used a straw to suck out all of the air in the bag and seal it tight. It works in a way and some bags are sealed really well but most of the time the air finds its way and this is what they always end up. There are a lot of vacuum seal bags for filaments but they are pretty expensive and they also have the ziplock mechanism and I don't really trust that. So I got these rolls of vacuum seal bags and I'm just gonna use my food vacuum sealer to vacuum seal them. So you want to get a roll which is 12 inches wide. You want to cut its length to about 1 foot 4 inches. If you have a 20 feet roll, you'll get 15 bags. Then use your vacuum sealer to seal the end of the bags. I want to make the most of these bags, so as you can see, I seal it very close to the end. Then place the filaments in the bag. If you want, you can put some desiccant packs in there as well. Vacuum the air out, then seal it. Now the reason why I leave this space here is so that I can reseal the bag a couple of times, which is also why I sealed it very close to the edge of that opening. If you want to take the filament out, just cut it very close to that sealing line. And when you're done, you can go ahead and vacuum seal it again. This would probably last you about 5, 6 or 7 times, so it would make sense to only seal the filaments that you rarely use. Even then, the rolls are pretty inexpensive and when it comes to the time when a spool doesn't fit in it anymore, you can still use the bags for something else. Now I don't have a huge studio and I don't have space for a cabinet or a rack for my filaments so I just use the box in which the spools came in and stack them on top of each other like this. I think this is a really cheap solution and at the same time it looks pretty neat. I don't know what you guys think. How do you guys store your filaments? Or are you one of those lucky people who don't ever need to store their filaments? Let me know in the comments below. So I hope this video would be helpful to you guys out there. And as always, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment in my video to help the channel out. And make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in the next one.